Okay, let's talk about breaking down uh, opponent scout film efficiently. I've been using Huddle for a while, maybe seven years for youth football. And if you're like me and you do your, your breakdown, at the very least, you probably do um, ODK breakdown. And, and if you want to get insight into your opponent and their tendencies, you're going to want to at least get down distance uh, yard, so you get field position, run pass, and you, you may end up even you know, breaking down and deciding what plays they ran and coming up with your own names for them. You might even track uh, player numbers so you can see if they have some tendency there in terms of receivers, running backs, um, who makes tackles, etc. Most people that break down film, I would guess, are coming right into the huddle tools here, and they're going to go into edit data and you know they'll watch and use the the grid here which is kind of like a spreadsheet view to break down the data and there's great support on the huddle site for how you do this and i'm not going to go into details on this i think this is an okay to do okay way to do it but i think there is a faster way to do it and and it makes sense when you think about what huddles built over the years uh, to support live game tagging why can't you use that same approach to break down an opponent scout video that you got through an exchange or maybe you were there filming it yourself and you you're not able to tag and film at the same time which i've done it's it's not impossible but it's not easy and takes some some practice and and preparation work so instead of doing it here in the grid we're going to switch over to the iPad. We're going to keep it up on the desktop here so that I can you know, virtually watch the game from uh, my computer. But I've got my iPad open here and I'm going to tag the game. Now the game isn't listed. It's in a prior season. I'm breaking down some old film. But it, even if it isn't, um, you know, even on your schedule, you can still um, start the process of of breaking it down. In this case, it's actually our own team from last year playing uh, Sunset. So I'm going to go ahead and say playing them so that I can match it up with the right the right team. So it's Lincoln Youth Football versus Sunset. And I'm going to tag this game right now. And it's going to actually create a game on the schedule, but don't worry about that. So now I start with my tagging just as if I were watching the game. And this is um, Lincoln's in the red here, so it's Lincoln kicking off. So I'm going to tap Lincoln kickoff. It's from the 40-yard um, line, and I go ahead and start my film. And I'm going to, you know, this this data doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to look and say, all right, he caught that on about the 30 and returned it. I'm going to pause there because you're going to, you know, you don't, one thing about the breakdown data is you're just getting the clips on the film, so it's going to go a little faster than if you were there in real life. So I'll finish tagging that play, and now it's showing, as you can see, that um, Sunset up here has the ball. Um, it's on about their own 35. It might be the 34. I don't really care. All right, so now I'm going to let things go here in the video and watch, and I'm going to see, okay, it's a run play, and it looks like he lost a couple yards, so I'll just put two there, finish. Second, about 12, another running play. This one's a little better. It's easier for me to see that he ended up on about the 43, so I'm going to go ahead and just scroll this up to the 43. So it might be easier to see that you know, he gained two yards, or it might be easier just to put where the ball was. But what's great about this is that the tagging tool is doing a great job of keeping track of the game state. Um, and it's really easy to manage that as you as you go along. So let's, we're looking at about a third and two or third and one. And again, we have a running play. And it looks like, you know, probably no gain. Fourth down. Quarterback keeps it. It's a run. And looks like he got some yards. And now I can see he got to about the 48. So it should automatically say that that's a first down. It does. All right, let's keep the video going here. 
and it's another running play down to about the 41 and it's going to be in opponent's territory so it was about 11 yard gain so that should be another first down and I can just kind of keep my eyes on the the down and distance markers and just confirm that I'm at the right down because I think that is important you know it, I'm not tracking hash but that's it has been pretty much in the middle of the field each time I probably should be paying a little more attention to that all right what do we have here all right we have a pass play up ah, but it's a pick and so instead of just doing pass I'm gonna say interception and it was a defensive touchdown there and it knows right away that it's uh, Lincoln here that's going to go for a two-point conversion, but it was no good, so I marked that there. So you kind of get the idea, and now um, I go here and say stop tagging. I can, it doesn't know if I'm paused or finished, so I'm going to click that again and say finish tagging and share, so it's being uploaded. So now I want to go back here and go to my video library. And you'll notice that it did create some tagged data here um, today, August 15th. That's obviously not matched up with the right game. But what's great is that I can go to my library here. Let's scroll down just a little bit so you can see a little more. So I go to my library. I'm going to say move and go back to last season and choose that game. And I'm going to say that it was game footage and save it. So if I scroll down here, I'm going to see that there's tag data and the game data. So now I can go back to my video library. Scroll down here, and I don't know if you've done this before, but you select both the game film and the tag. And hold on a second, let me do this so you can see it. Actually, I may need to refresh. Let me refresh the screen so that it should resize everything. Yeah. All right. So there. And there, no, Huddle doesn't like the smaller screen, so I'll just slide this over. And as I go over, I click Match. And so now the matching tool comes up. Sorry, I'm sliding things around. And here, I'm pretty confident it's going to match up because I was doing it from the clips. But I can confirm, for example, just by going down to this play here, um, was this the pick play? Yeah, it was. So I'm going to say we're good and save it. Okay, so we're saved. And now it just shows up as game footage. And you can see we have good breakdown data. So you might find that easier than going through the grid um, for a whole game. I do because I think Huddle's intelligence around tracking the game state is much simpler through the smartphone and the tablets than it is through this, this grid down here. All right, I hope this was of some help, and I'll do some more of these in the future. Take care.